Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. I'm Captain Tyler Wan. Soldier Uriel. All right, we back again with 15 minutes with the captains. Today's topic, we're going to deal with hatred. What is hatred, thus saith the Lord? Go ahead and read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Stop right there. Okay, so the scripture says, this is a commandment of God. Thou shalt not hate thine brother and thine heart. Your heart meaning your mind. What is the mind? When you read the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21, it explains that the definition of the word heart is someone's mind, is a man's mind, all right? So in your mind, you're not to hate your people in your heart, your mind. Read on where it says that, thou. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. But you shall rebuke your neighbor. So the opposite of you loving someone is you not rebuking them, which is what the Bible describes as hatred. Rebuke meaning what? Rebuke and correct someone in God's word. For instance, when you read Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7, it tells a man and a woman of Israel and of our nation not to eat pork. So what you see in the Christian church a lot is that they say you, it doesn't matter what meats you eat as long as you pray over it, you good in the blood of Jesus and that's it. No. If you love your people, you'll show them that according to God's word, you're not supposed to be eating defiled foods. Likewise with all God's commandments, okay? Uh, we're supposed to not be, uh, we're not supposed to be breaking his commandments and allowing sin to be in our communities, in our nation. Read on where you at. And not suffer sin upon him. And that's what you see a lot. When you see the sin upon our people, you're not supposed to let it stand, period. You're supposed to correct it and rebuke it according to God's word. Now, what you got to do is examine. Here goes God's commandments, and here's what I want to do. You gotta, we got to learn as a people to serve God by tearing away what we want to do and come back to him. And that's how you show you love your people and you love God. Read on from where you at, verse 18. Verse 18, mm -hmm. thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And a lot of our people love to bear grudges one of another. And it says against who? Thy people. Against the children of your people. Showing you that it's someone of your nation. The children of your people. Not the white man. Not the Arab man. Not the Chinese. Okay? Plain and simple. I'm telling you straight. It's talking about the children of your people. You're not supposed to show hatred towards them. So you're supposed to correct those churches. You're supposed to correct those churches and those people that come out the churches that sin according to God's word. And that's what real love is. Read on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And now you, you should love the children of your people, which is your brother and your neighbor as yourself. By how? Showing them God's commandments. So whenever you hear God's commandments coming out and someone rejects the word, they don't hate you. They hate God because God gives the commandments. From that, let's get Proverbs 11 verse 12 real quick we're going to give you examples of that so you should be aware as you hear the word come out here us here in iuic we teach all the commandments many of commandments and there's not one commandment that we see that we won't keep all right and then we don't know we repent from it if we see the scriptures all right because we're using god's word so what it is when you see us you have to examine yourself is it is this message coming from God or is it coming from men? All right. Give me that in Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. He that is void of wisdom. He that is what? Void of wisdom. Read on. Despiseth his neighbor. Right. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. Read that one more time. He that is void of wisdom. Our people are void of wisdom. They lack, they lack the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's written of in the scriptures. The wisdom is God's commandments. Okay. Go to that in Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. What is wisdom? Let's get that real quick. Psalms 111 and 10. It says, he that is void of wisdom despise of his neighbor. Because God ain't going to come down on a cloud and tell you, hey, keep my commandments. He has this word here established. I'm going to come to you and show you God's word. Now, are you trying to believe the message of man or God? Are you showing hatred towards God or man? Are you showing love towards God or man? Because we here in IUIC, we're giving you the message of God's word. It's up to you to receive it or not. Read that real quick. What is wisdom? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all day that do his commandments. So wisdom is when you do God's commandments. Go back to that in Proverbs. So it says, he that is void of wisdom, void of what? The commandments of God. They do not, our people know not how to keep 
the commandments of God. Simple commandment. You see it a lot of our communities. The scripture, the scripture says in Exodus chapter 20, Thou shalt not kill. That's God's commandments. You see a lot of killings, murders, thefts in our community. It starts with the mind. All right. That's why it says, Thou shalt not hate thine brother in thine heart. If hatred is in you mentally and spiritually, you don't know what hatred is. Obviously, physically, you're going to kill your people. And that's what we uh, that's what we suffer from as a nation of people. Right. All right. So read that real quick. Read that again. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 12. Right. He that is void of wisdom. So our people void, are void of wisdom. They're void of God's commandments and their actions. And what? Despiseth his neighbor. So when I come to you with the commandments of God, you automatically hate me. Mm -hmm. Because what? I'm correcting you of your actions. Read on. What? But a man of understanding. But that man of understanding of knowledge and wisdom, what will they do? Holdeth his peace. They will they'll hold their, they'll be quiet. Mm -hmm. They'll hold their peace and learn understanding and wisdom and accept it in their lives. Alright, from that, let's get Proverbs real quick. Proverbs 14, 21. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 21. So what we're trying to do is show you so you can realize exactly what hatred is and analyze and compare that to your life in general. Okay, brothers and sisters, y'all got to do that. Read that verse. Come on. He, he that despiseth his neighbor. Once again, it goes into a relationship between your brother, the children of your people. It says, he that despiseth his neighbor, what? Sinneth. You sin. Why? Because your neighbor going to be coming to you with God's commandments, his right. laws and statutes. Right. Read on. But he that hath mercy on the poor, uh -huh. happy is he. Happy is the life of a man that keep God's commandments and realize they have to keep God's commandments. Why? Because that's what love is. It says, he that despiseth his neighbor, happy is he. And not only are you showing that you hate your neighbor, but you're showing that you hate God. First Thessalonians real quick. Let's get that real quick. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 8. We're going to sum it up. So whenever you all see us on the streets in purple or gold, Whenever, even you brothers and sisters that are aware that you're Israel already, whenever you see correction coming out, you got to sit back and acknowledge and examine. Am I hating man or am I hating God? All right. Read that. First Thessalonians chapter four and verse eight. Mm -hmm. He therefore that despiseth, despises not man. Right. But God. Right. So you don't despise man because the man is the one that's coming to you with the correction, with the word, with the rebuke. You don't show them that you hate man. You really show them that you hating God. Because we're not coming with our own words. Right. We're coming with you with God's message. Thus saith the Lord with his commandments and the faith of Christ as Israel. From that, let's get Titus real quick. That's it on that. All right. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man but God. The word despise means hatred. Okay, that's what despise is. Despise means hatred. Read that real quick. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, mm -hmm. disobedient, right. deceived, serving diverse lusts mm -hmm. and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. I'm going to tell you from my personal example. At one point in time, I didn't have it all together. I didn't know how not to. I didn't know how to love my people. Right. I was in much hatred. OK, the scripture says at one point in time, I don't I didn't have it all together. At one point in time, I was hateful. And I hated my own people. I used to rob, steal, and kill. I used to do those things of that nature. I was in the midst of what the scripture says, murder, which is when you don't teach your people correction according to God's words. So you have to think and examine. Look at the Christian churches or any type of so-called black establishment that we have or organizations that we have. They lack God's commandments. Thus, they show hatred to our community. Okay? Read that again. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Right. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, mm -hmm. disobedient, right. deceived, deceived, serving diverse lusts. And we serve diverse lusts. Mind you, these are many different attributes of how we used to be before we came into this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are in the faith of Christ. And we urge you, brothers, that suffer from these spirits of what it says, uh, um, lust, diverse lust, deceitfulness, such of that, that you learn from our examples and that you add this righteousness unto yourself. Okay, so from that, we're going to end that real quick. Let's go to 1 John, chapter 2, verse 9. We're going to push through this real quick. So what we're doing is we're, shine, we're showing you the light in which you should be in, not to hate yourself or your people, but love one another in the keeping of God's commandments. Okay, read that, bro. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, and verse 9. Right. He that saith he is in the light 
and hateth his brother. That's that one that says, I love the Lord. I love Jesus. I'm in the light of the Lord. I'm in the light of Jesus. Right. It says, he that saith, he is in the light. And what else? And hateth his brother. And hateth his brother what? Is in darkness. That's the person that thinks that they love God, but in their actions, they show otherwise. Mm -hmm. And you see that a lot. The Christian church. Look, they celebrate Christmas deal. Mm -hmm. They celebrate Easter. That's hate because it's not in God's word. Mm -hmm. But when you hear our rebuke, you hate us. You don't hate us. You hate God. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. And that goes with all correction that we come from in these in the scriptures. OK, mm -hmm. when we come to you telling you Deuteronomy 22, verse five, the woman have to be in dresses, not in pants. Men cannot be in a dress. Men must wear pants. You automatically hate us, right. but you hate the messenger. <laughs> you hate the messenger. All right. You hate the man giving the message. All right. Automatically. But but really you showing you hate God. Read that verse in the, um, verse 11. First John chapter two and verse 11. Mm -hmm. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness. So that he that hateth his brother is in darkness. What is that hatred? Those are attributes of murder of you not correcting your people. Thus saith God's commandments. Read on. And walketh in darkness. And walketh. So you're in darkness and you walk in darkness, which is what? Sin, iniquity. You're in that. Read. And knoweth not whither he goeth. And you don't know whether you go or why. Because your actions are geared and guided by darkness. Read on. But that darkness, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. And now darkness has blinded your eyes. All you see is your own self. Read that again. Read that verse again. Verse 11. But he that hateth his brother uh -huh. is in darkness right. and walketh in darkness. He that hateth his brother is in darkness and he walks in darkness. Read. And knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. So as it said in verse 9, it says, he that saith he is in the light. This is going to that man that saith he's in the light. He's deceived his own self thinking that he's in the truth or light, but really he's in darkness. Why? Because he does not accept correction or does not keep the commandments of God okay and when the commandments of God are given to him he doesn't take the correction from that real quick let's go to uh, 1 John chapter 3 verse 15 the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 15 so let's get another characteristic of what hatred is according to the Bible we already know that if you don't accept correction or the rebuke from your neighbor you're not hating that man you're hating God alright thus say if the Bible when it says in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 read this real quick Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. So if you hate your brother, guess what? You're a murderer. What is hatred? When you do not keep God's commandments, all right? When you do not accept God's commandments in your life and you love to suffer sin upon your people. So measure that up to those that keep the commandments and those that don't keep the commandments. Read that again. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, all right? And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So, long and behold, I'm telling you straight, this so-called Christian church, listen, it's, got, it's a lot of murderers in there because t yet to this day, they do not keep God's commandments, okay? Read on. No, that's it on that one. Go to uh, 1 John chapter 4. So now you have to realize, do I have a good relationship with God? What is my relationship with Do I love or do I hate God? We're going to show you. Read that in the scriptures real quick. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Right. The book of 1 John, chapter 4 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. If a man say, I love God. And that's all our people do. They say, I love the Lord. I love God. I wouldn't hurt nobody. Read on. And hateth his brother. But you hate your brother. Remember what hatred is. When you do not, when you suffer sin upon your people. That's what hatred is. The Christian churches, these churches, a lot of our churches and so-called black organizations, they suffer sin one of another. Okay, read on. He is a liar. He's a liar. He does not love God. So if you say you love God, but you hate your brother, don't teach him God's commandments, you're a liar. And what else? For he that loveth not his brother. If you don't love your brother, which is keeping God's commandments, read on. Whom he hath seen. Who you see, right? With bodily eyes, read on. How can he love God? How you gonna love God, read? Whom he hath not seen. So that's showing you right there that the scripture says, He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God. Real quick, last verse. Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. So your relationship on how you treat your, your people, your, your brother, and keeping God's commandments is your relationship with the Most High God. All right? We're going to get an example of that. Read that real quick. The book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. Read. Ye have heard that it was said by them mm -hmm. of old time, right. thou shalt not kill, mm -hmm. and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. Right. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry 
with his brother without a cause. The scripture says, whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause. Because a lot of our people, they are angry with each other for no reason. Mm -hmm. For no reason. Look, you see it in our in this uh, so-called black community and Latino community. This brother will hate this brother because he has on another color. Mm -hmm. This one will have hate on this brother because he drives a, a, a different variety of car type of rims and whatever the case may have you. You have hatred between the old and the young, etc. Mm -hmm. Us, in our communities, we show hatred one of another for any cause. But say, I love God. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus. Right. No, you don't. You don't. Read that again. But I say unto you, mm -hmm. that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. You're going to be in danger of judgment from God. Read on. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka shall be in danger of the council. Right. But, who, but whosoever Another shall say. Another form of judgment being um, laid out upon somebody for hating somebody with every cause, for without a cause. Read on. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. All these three attributes of judgment going out come from you hating your people without a cause. Read. Come on. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar. Now, we brought our gifts to the altar for the Lord, okay? It says, now, if you bring your gift to the altar, read, and or if you bring yourself thinking that you love God, read on, if you bring yourself to God and thinking you love him, read on, and then rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee, and you remember that somebody that you had an altercation with or a trespass with, if you remember the situation and it's not dealt with, read on, Leave there thy gift before the altar. Don't even come. Just leave your gift at the altar. Read on. And go thy way. And just go your way. It's as if you not was not even there. Read. First be reconciled to thy brother. Notice the Lord said, the Lord Jesus Christ, a black man, he said, first reconcile that situation with your brother because you still have a remembrance of it. Read on. And then come and offer thy gift. And now give your gift to the Lord. So yes, according to the Bible, if you don't keep God's commandments and deal with them accordingly to his word and actually deal with your brothers and your sisters of your nation before you deal with God rightfully, guess what? He doesn't recognize you. That's what hatred is. Correct your people. Don't suffer sin upon your nation. Plain and simple. And with that, Israel, I'm going to say shalom. I hope y'all were edified. Shalom. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.